I'm starting a video. This is too much meta to pass over. Oh, I found myself here. Following the trail of a stupid toothpick called the Cookie Dipper, and then entered a universe of different Cookie Dipper brands or stupid toothpicks that are going to end up in the ocean like straws up a turtle's nostril. <laughs> so we have ended up at the Dick Butt Cookie Cutter. Ended maybe a new beginning. <laughs> You could pick tit butts for years to come. <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> um, wow. Yes. The Oreo Dunking Cookie Spoon. So, to me, that is a glorified stupid toothpick. I first saw that, well, here, before I get to that, I'm like, this website, this is why I'm broke. I'm having trouble. <laughs> oh, there you are. Cookie Dunking Helper. This seems to be a lever. says Duncan. There seems to be a lever in your glass. <laughs> to, to lower and raise your cookie in the milk. <laughs> I never knew. <laughs> God. <laughs> uh, so I'm backing this up. Here you go. Images for cookie dunking tools. There's your Dunkin' lever. Uh, it looks like they come in different colors or branding. See that? Wow. Of course, you've got your glorified stupid toothpick that's going to end up in the ocean like straws in a, nostril, a turtle's nostrils. Um, I saw this cookie dipper in Whole Foods, and I'm like, wow, your quality control was out that day, or you punched in uh, the wrong number, you know, you're intending edibles, and you got a stupid toothpick. <laughs> and it was on display, you could buy it, you could spend, well, the price is here. Two dollars to almost seventeen. That's the first blush range on a stupid toothpick to to lasso your Oreo cookie, <laughs> get it in your drink, and out again. And uh, I was in Whole Foods in the food aisle. And they had this stupid cookie dipper toothpick contraption. And I was like, are you serious? This is in Whole Foods. And uh, it has packaging on it. Uh, cardboard back, plastic front to encase your marvelous stupid dunking toothpick. And uh, <laughs> I was like, I really can't believe it. I can't believe it. And I took a picture of it and I meant to follow through, but I never did. What I was thinking of doing uh, when I when I practice graphic arts more than I do now is I was thinking of making a uh, to, to sell a compatible comparable product on how to dunk your cookies. But mine was just going to be a diagram of 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 beautifully graphically conceived directions. First, you take your hand, <laughs> you place it over your cookie, lower it, and p pinch the cookie, and clasp it. Raise it up, bring it over your drink, 
and we're going to lower it in and I'm going to have detailed diagrams. Now you're going to pull it out and you're bring it back, back to your mouth. <laughs> when you get it close to your mouth, you're going to put it in your mouth, okay? And you can repeat to your, your leisure, your pleasure. And <laughs> I, I would put it uh, a price on it and give people options for cookie dunking tools. <laughs> you can buy the instructional information like for a quarter <laughs> rather than six dollars, okay? And you don't waste packaging and and your, your glorified stupid straw is not going to end up in the ocean. <laughs> stupid straw toothpick is not going to end up in the ocean like a, up a turtle's nostril. <laughs> So that's how that conversation started before I started the video. I have a little hair that I think is falling on me. Um, and then I was trying to remember what it was, so I punched in, I typed in dunking cookie tool, and it took me here. You got the sip and dip cookie dipper and straw, the dipper ultimate cookie. Dipper Buddy, the Dipper Ultimate Cookie, variety of rainbow colors, and imprinted dipper. You also have the Drinking Buck Buddy with the Magnetic Cookie Dunker. <laughs> A perfect dunk. <laughs> Every time. Set it, snap it, dunk it. And enjoy the dunk illusion. What else? Anyway, this one, Dunking Buddy, a magnetic cookie dunker that slides down your glass. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't realize there was a whole world of cookie dunkers. I just thought there was that absurd aberration that was in Whole Foods. <laughs> now I'm blown apart. <laughs> There's a whole world of stupid glorified toothpick cookie dunkers and different branding. <laughs> and of course that led me onto the trail of the the dick buck but cookie cutter among other things. Who knew? God, who knew? <laughs> it's kind of understanding why I am the B, the B and spoke, <laughs> not B S spoke, the B, the B ends spoke. <laughs> Bespoken debt to 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 the hand hand it the antidote the hand put your hand <laughs> hand uh and a neck dot d o w h t a collection of stories <laughs> from yours truly l y a suffix for relationship. In knit, I N N K N I T. <laughs> uh, that two, uh, tooth the means and the theme the means that seeped. Uh, top open, seeped openly. A person gets money for a stupid cookie cutter, a cookie dunker. No, I, I saw it. 
down here. It's got a name. Person who came up with this. Oh my God. Well, I don't know if it's better. There was an organization <laughs> put their corporate he ads together <laughs> and came up with this stupid chick, chick, chick trick. <laughs> or, you know, but it says here, um, the Dipper, D-I-P-R. I'm having trouble getting that. Trying to, trying to get it on the video, but I can't. It's too low on the web page, and my video is set too high on my screen. So I'm, I'm going to just take a screen grab of it, but. Robert Haleluck, H-A-L-E-L-U-K. Uh, it's his Kickstarter project, November 5th, 2010. <laughs> Come on. You gave money for that gad. Gadget? Gad. Get. Gad is uh, another uh, name for God. <laughs> Uh, E-gods. <laughs> E-gods, get abroad, gab abroad. <laughs> he gets in Whole Foods. <laughs> You've got with your dunking, your searches for your dunking cookie tool, you have your your dunking buddy reviews. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Don't tell me. You're making my head itch thinking about it. Mm. This was good chocolate milk. So this didn't get on video. I, after I walked Minnow, um, I'm like, I want chocolate milk. So I put the milk in the saucepan and then I sat down and then I could hear it starting to, the steam start to climb the, the wall of the saucepan. It's like, uh-oh, get over there before it, it boils over, before it overflows. And I was having trouble getting the thong my flip-flop on my swollen foot and so I'm just like ah oh, forget about it I'll just hop over and I found hopping very liberating even fun <laughs> yay and I got there and the, the milk didn't uh, boil over and I was able to have a a perfect cup of hot chocolate the only thing is is when I got over there I'm, I'm like oh no now I have to hop back <laughs> I've got chocolate <laughs> and so I'm finding myself in this new paradigm where I generally think of myself as a person that thinks things through. So I always I know what to do, you know? Uh, but I'm finding myself like, okay, milk boils. You gotta get over there. Oh no, foot won't fit in the shoe. I'll hop. Great idea. And wow, this is like fun. <laughs> I can do this. But then I'm over there with my cup of hot chocolate like, oh no, you gotta hop back. <laughs> this doesn't work so well. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> it's, I, and I also know why I'm tired. I'm pretty certain it's because I experience so much tension with every minute gesture of a footprint. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it makes me tired. <laughs> it's whole body tension and I find myself looking down at my foot. You know, 
How you doing? Well, I think I'm doing. There we go. We did a step. Okay, where's the next one? <laughs> you know. <laughs> I was talking about not putting everything on video that I have this sort of touch and go reserve in terms of um, I perceive someone is paying attention to the meta but not everyone's going to notice that and I am you know I am sending this to people uh, personally deliberately that you know it's kind of like is this a drain on your your character <laughs> Well, I'm not made up, <laughs> made dupe, made up, <laughs> and uh, you know, w what you can produce in Hollywood as a character, anything but the air here, so, <laughs> you know, uh, if I were to write the ultimate, the ultimate, the penultimate script, all-time mate <laughs> script, um, that's the one thing, the one thing to relate, to or to relate. To whore? To save a face? Efface? The efface is not necessary. To tor, tor or whore? Um, is the face. I have no reason for an e-face because I am the face, A-D. <laughs> I think uh, the marketplace competition for no reason thief end is T hyphen H hyphen O hyphen R E hyphen uh, tore the or and whore, whoring and hoarding the date com competitively to make the a face uh, necessary. I don't think the a face is necessary if you face AD. <laughs> find I'm doing some silly things lately and it might be because I'm a little sleepy. I'm, I'm clunking my dishes, which I don't like to do. I just bought new mug, mugs. So I'm like, I'm like, ah, oh, don't do that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, um, I uploaded a video to only find that I've already uploaded it. And now that I'm doing, I, I see that I failed to put the date on, so I'm going back to edit. I like to put a date on the videos I put on YouTube, and then also on my desktop for my personal personal file. And you know, I'm I'm, I'm missing some details. I'm I'm doing that. I walked Mino yesterday, the day I got my cast off. Went out the door, went down to the lobby, and I didn't bring his leash. I'm like, when do you not bring the leash to walk the dog? <laughs> Come on, you know, we're walking back upstairs again. So, <laughs> let's see, what else? What else is super silly? That's, that's those are the little things I'm noticing. Clunking my, my, my dishes. <laughs> that I like. <laughs> My new mugs. <laughs> like, ow! I even uh, clunked. I have a teapot. I was getting something and I hit the spout and it made a clunking sound. I'm like, ah! Oh, I didn't want to kill the teapot either. <laughs> Let me just say changes on that. All right. <laughs> <laughs>